Jackson here at Song Mentor. In 1964, Roy Orbison released Oh Pretty Woman. The Beatles claim he had actually performed the song on tour in the UK in 1963, and they were in that show with him, so I guess they should know that. So it was actually written in 1963, when, whenever it was written. It reached number one in the US and stayed on the charts as number one for three weeks and did the same thing in the UK. I haven't researched it, but probably in Canada as well. One of the signature riffs of all time, and one of the crowd-pleasing songs of all time. Here's Roy Orbison's Oh Pretty Woman. All right, let's begin with the chords you need for Pretty Woman. Just before we do that, I want to show you, uh, uh, I'm opting to use a guitar with a, a tremolo arm today, uh, simply because in one of the sections of the song, um, you can use the, better yet, use the tremolo effect on your pedal if you have one, but I don't have a pedal with that uh, in my setup here. So I'm going to use for some of the chording. I'm going to use the, uh, the tremolo arm. So if you have a guitar with a tremolo arm, use it. If not, just keep in mind that you might want to use the tremolo effect on a pedal as well for a certain section of this song. Okay, let's get to those chords. Oh Pretty Woman is an eight chord song, and the only thing that's going to vary in the song is how we approach, strum, and play those chords. It's going to be different for different sections of the song. Uh, first chord you need is an open A. You need an F sharp minor bar chord. Open D, an open E. Now those four chords make up sort of a block or a section of the song, and then the other section of the song consists of these four chords, a D minor, an open G, an open C, and an A minor. And as I said, we'll talk about the different ways to play those chords as we get into the lesson. Okay, just before we get into the chording sections of the song, let's tackle that uh, classic riff, one of the great riffs of all time, and it goes like this. the opening, very, very simple, it's just two picks down on the open E string, the sixth string, and then the A flat note, fourth fret of the sixth string, second fret of the fifth string, which is a B note, and I'm using my third finger on the fourth fret there, my first finger on the B note. This song begins with a signature drum beat. Okay, and that opening riff you, that I just we just learned there, you play twice. And this is where you kick it in uh, to the full riff, um, and it plays through four times. And basically, we're going to play what we just played. is the fourth fret of the fourth string and I'm using three and one again fingers three and one the second fret of the fourth string and the open fourth string I'm using all down picks for this riff plays through four times. Um, you can mute this ever so slightly with the heel of your hand here just to give it that little... Then we get into the chording. Okay, so that's the opening riff, the signature riff, Pretty Woman. 
All right, let's talk about that first chord progression, which I'm going to call the verse chord progression. And that's coming out of the four. And coming right out of the fourth one, we get... there that um, what really varies is the amount of time I spend on each chord. Yeah, we go from an open A to an F sharp minor, open A, F sharp minor, then a little bit of an extended time on the D and a very extended time on the open E. Now just to take a look at the right hand and what it's doing in this sort of plucky staccato strum picking style, I'm going to pick the lead note of the A chord, the open A. So, notice how I, when I strum down, it's not a strum, it's a, it's a stressing each individual note of the chord, and then two ups. So let's do a little mini playthrough of the opening of the song and the first verse. The second section I'm going to refer to as the bridge uh, features those um, those four other chords: the D minor, the G, the C, and the A minor. And it also comes out of. So what we're doing there is on the fourth riff. Stop there, we stop at the B and then play two open E chords. And then we're back into our strumming pattern. And then it repeats the whole thing again, and then we get into the transition and that other little section of the song that I'll show you a little bit later. But why don't we do this, um, why don't we do a little playthrough, uh, a sing-along playthrough with chords on the screen of this bridge section. <laughs>
Okay, a couple things I want to mention. First of all, um, I'm going to do picture in picture here, and the alternative strumming um, for that section we just learned, that bridge section, is going to be just the straight strum with, with the vibrato, the tremolo arm that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> same chord pattern, I'm just going to be nice and straight with the vibrato arm put into that. And the second thing I want to mention is the transition. You notice that, uh, that we completed it there. And basically the second time through... Instead of going from C to A minor, as we had been doing, we get back into the previous four chord progression, the A, F sharp, D, E progression, by going from C, A, cause I need you, I'll treat you right. All right. The only thing left to do is talk about uh, uh, the ending of the song which is uh, timed out kind of like the beginning of the song, uh, and then we'll, we'll talk about a finish. All right, the ending of the song uh, comes out of the third and final verse, um, so let's play through that again with chords on the screen, and um, we'll show you what we do to finish the song. Here we go. One, two, three. Pretty woman, don't walk on by. Pretty woman, don't make me cry. specific strumming here, which is really kind of cool, gives you a little bit of a different style of strumming than we've used in pretty much any other song, I don't think. Uh, we also have the signature riff, uh, which uh, comes up in several sections of the song, and I've given you that little just picture-in-picture -picture alternative uh, strumming with it. because it adds that great vibe to the song. Have a lot of fun with this. It's one of the classics of all time. Roy Orbison, The Voice, Oh Pretty Woman. We'll see you next time on Song Mentor.